What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name's Michael Roman, aka Allfires. Now, while we finally got the introduction of Charlie Cox's Matt Murdock slash Daredevil in Spider-Man No Way Home, that only answered the first question, would any of the Netflix actors ever reprise their roles in the MCU? And while there are still plenty of rumors about him showing up in the future of Marvel Phase 4, the second question is, would we ever get a solo Daredevil series on Disney Plus, akin to the one that we saw on Netflix, which actually kicked off the entire craze for the Marvel series on that platform. And while light rumors were abound, it may take a while to get there, we have some exciting news to production LLCs filed by Marvel Studios, things we've used in the past to directly identify pre-production on projects like the Fantastic Four. One of them certainly looks like it's confirming this solo series on Disney Plus, something that's been lightly rumored in the last year. We're going to break down what was reported and how one ties to the other. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button. We do daily Marvel content at the channel and that's all we do. Everything from official Easter egg breakdowns, trailers, reviews, and watch parties, all the way to the occasional industry insider scoop and even editorial re-reporting like today. So if that sort of thing's for you, consider hitting the sub button, leaving a comment down below. That'll automatically enter you to win our next PS5 giveaway, which we're already halfway through. If you want, stick around to the end of the video. We'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Now, when talking about production LLCs and why they are so exciting is it's the very first thing that Marvel Studios will do whenever they send a brand new TV show or film to greenlight an official pre-production. They file a production LLC because each TV show, each movie is its own little company. Now, most of the time, the name on the LLC has nothing to do with the movie. That's because they want to keep it a secret. It can be really named anything, even just a phrase a director likes. And because if you know where to look, you can investigate and find these public filings. That's another reason they want to keep them secret. But sometimes, and especially when it comes to Marvel Studios, the name of the production LLC perfectly matches what's going on in the narrative or directly relates to the franchise. See case in point, Falcon in the Winter Soldier, which was named Pandemic Productions LLC before the rewrite because that obvious narrative mirrored what was going on in real life with the pandemic. That was the original storyline. That's what they named the LLC. Another case in point, Solve Everything LLC, that surely points directly to the Fantastic Four as that was a very famous storyline from the comics. Now, just earlier this week from the editorial, The Cosmic Circus, I'll leave the source article linked in the description below if you want to check it out. They're a newer editorial, Industry Insider editorial we've been reporting on for about a year here at the channel. They reported on two brand new LLCs that their investigations were able to uncover, one of which was named Extremely Dangerous Productions LLC and the other one, Prodigal Pie Productions LLC. Well, I definitely poured over the both of these. Prodigal Pie is pretty anonymous and to me has nothing relating to anything directly in Marvel Comics I can see. If you can come up with anything, let me know in the comments. The other one, extremely dangerous. Well, when taken in context of all the rumors, knowing that Daredevil is going to show up in Echo, probably She-Hulk and some other places along the way, well, extremely dangerous is how a Daredevil lives his life. And as I said, it's not always the case that the name on these production LLCs match what's going on in the series. But reading the tea leaves and taken as a whole, for people like me who've been covering the daily MCU news for over four years, I certainly think this points directly to it. And considering the filing on that production LLC now, we could be at least a year before they start filming and another year before its release. So this isn't turning around a Daredevil series by the end of 2022. In fact, this is the initial step perhaps turning it around by the end of 2023, 2024, which falls right in line with not only the rumors we're going to get a Daredevil solo series, we reported on that here at the channel twice in the last six months, but that it was going to take a couple of years to get there as he appears in other people's projects along the way. Definitely for sure the Echo series where he's an integral part of her character and story arc. Guys, let me know all your thoughts down below, how hype you are to have Daredevil, Charlie Cox's iteration of Daredevil in the MCU. Hey, it's important. There was a Ben Affleck version of Daredevil out there that, you know, hey, still could show up in Multiverse of Madness. But let me know all your thoughts down below quickly. Let's jump into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. We're still giving away PlayStation 5s, and now instead of every 100,000 subscribers, we're doing it every 20,000 subscribers all the way up to a million, and we're already halfway to our next one this year. If you want to be entered to win or for any of the future giveaways here at the channel, 
all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber, then leave a comment down below because it's truly random. The more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of videos, the same way we're doing here. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. And as always, if you liked today's video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. My name's Michael Roman. You can find me in a couple of places, Instagram and Twitter at I am Fires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, wherever you listen to original music under the name All Fires. And while I sincerely appreciate you checking my music out, thanks for checking this channel out. Stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.